It has become one of the most powerful fighting groups in the region. Thousands of Arab and foreign fighters make up its ranks. They are led by Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. The mysterious figure was captured by U.S. forces in Iraq in 2005, but was later released. The group has its origins in Al-Qaeda in Iraq, led by Abu Mus'ab al-Zarqawi. Zarqawi was killed by U.S. forces in 2006, and the group became known as the Islamic State in Iraq under the leadership of Abu Umar al-Baghdadi. Baghdadi was killed by U.S. and Iraqi forces in 2010, and the group got a new leader, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, also known as Ibrahim Awad Ibrahim al-Badri. This is the unofficial uh, affiliation of Al-Qaeda. It subscribes to Al-Qaeda's central ideology and tactics. It's one of the most extremist uh, militant organizations in the jihadist uh, family. The group moved into Syria, but when Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi tried to bring another jihadi group known as the Nusra Front under his control, Al-Qaeda disowned him. But that didn't stop Baghdadi's campaign. His group now controlled parts of northern and eastern Syria, including oil fields. In January, ISIL fighters sent a large force to Iraq's Ambar province. The Iraqi government launched a military campaign against the group, but it failed to root out ISIL fighters in Fallujah and Ramadi. And over the last week, ISIL launched daring attacks in two cities, Samarra and Mosul. Now the group controls territory in three Iraqi provinces bordering Syria, and that secures the free movement of weapons and fighters between the two countries. ISIL sources of funding and power remains unclear. Most probably it funds its own activities by relying on criminality, by relying on local uh, donations, uh, a great deal of private citizens in the Gulf, uh, basically in Saudi Arabia and Kuwait, in uh, Qatar and other places, uh, send funds. But obviously it has its own sources uh, inside Iraq itself and Syria. Other critics claim the group is implementing the agenda of the Syrian, Iraqi and Iranian regimes. ISIL's real goals and backers remain unknown, but their attacks have now caught everyone's attention. Omar Saleh Al Jazeera.